morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Renee if you're new hello welcome today I'm gonna be doing a day in my life I've tried multiple times to do like week in my life but I'm honestly like finding it a little bit challenging recently to pick up the camera I like film really good things and then like to stick with it I don't know what like the implementing part it's just kind of been rough for me because I don't need to say it that much, but I've just been like in my head this year and it's like so frustrating, but I'm trying my best to work with it, to do things that put me in a good mood. I'm starting to kind of like get a feel on the things that put me directly in a negative headspace versus things that put me in a better headspace. And I've been trying my best to do the things that put me in the better headspace. So today I'm feeling inspired to pick up the camera. I'm like motivated to do some things around the house and I wanna take you guys along with me. I'm currently watching Halloween Town. We were currently watching Halloween Town. I just had breakfast with Noah, my second breakfast of the day. I've been waking up at like six o'clock every single morning, naturally. So I woke up this morning, I made myself an acai bowl. I read a little bit, I've been reading. Um, I don't have the book in front of me, but it's called Dark Places by, oh my God, I don't know her name, but she did Gone Girl and Sharp Objects, which I'm a huge fan of both. It's really good so far. It's a little bit slow to be honest, but it's picking up. I'm at that point where I'm like picking up and I just like can't put it down. I really want to declutter my space. As an influencer, I get a lot of things delivered to me. I've been really cutting back on allowing products to come to me and like allowing companies to be promoted on my channel because I just really don't need all this unnecessary stuff and I don't want to like ever have it go to waste. And I want the products that I share to be things that I genuinely love because if I share like 20 different products, I probably love all of them. Which one are you guys going to trust the most? So I'm only going to be like putting out things on my channel now that I like really do vibe and thrive with and it's like the best of the best like I've tried all of them this is my favorite because I just don't need all this stuff and all this clutter and I honestly feel like my mood is really correlated to my environment more so than the average person so when my space is decluttered I'm pretty much decluttered in my headspace so I'm gonna go through um, my closet and my life right now, basically. I wanna go through my makeup drawer, my front closet, and just get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. We're in that mindset again. I know I do this probably like 20 times a year, but it helps me and it always puts me in a good mood and it gives me something to do for the day, so we're doing it. One product that I'm actually really stoked about is this Winged CBD. I am a huge fan of Winged. It's a female-owned company, female-founded, and they're made specifically for females. They have like a whole bunch of wellness stuff. They have like like everything from sleep stuff, mood supplements, stress, skin stuff. They have a little bit of everything. And I'm a huge fan of their CBD gummies. You guys have seen me like promote them before. And so I picked up this. This is their unflavored extra strength CBD. It helps me fall asleep quicker, but it doesn't like make me feel drowsy in any way. I've actually taken sleep medicine before and it makes me feel so groggy the next morning. When you take CBD, it literally just like puts you to bed very quickly. You sleep throughout the whole night, you don't wake up, and then you wake up feeling so refreshed and like ready to tackle the day i'll leave it linked down below for you guys i'm a huge fan cbd is like a huge thing right now so i feel like companies are just like mass producing it and it's not the best quality but winged is uh organically grown co2 extracted us hemp certified they have a qr code here on the back that you can scan and like figure out all the stuff that is taken and involved in the process of making this product non-gmo vegan all the good stuff um it's just a really great brand that i wholeheartedly trust and love so i'll link them down below they actually gave me a promo code for you guys if you use the code renee 15 you can get 15 percent off so i'm gonna put this in my little nightstand and let's start decluttering all right so, as you can see, I have so much stuff that's like literally pouring out of all of these drawers. They're just filled to the top of just things that I've had for so many freaking years. Um, so I want to go through that. I have also this whole side of clothes. One of you guys asked me, where's Noah's stuff? He actually has half this closet is his. Got this little hanging shelf that's his. This is all his. And then we have the front closet filled with things from both of us. We're kind of just like mixing it all together at this point. Um, and I have like a, just a ton of stuff that I just, I need to go through it. It's just a mess right now. So I recently just found this article of questions to ask yourself when you're decluttering because I actually have a really hard time getting rid of things. One of the questions is, will I buy this item at full price? Would it impact my daily life not to have it? Is it really worth the space? Do I own a similar item I like better? And could this be useful for another person? I feel like the first one is gonna get to me the most. I'm so stingy with my money. And if, if I ask myself, would I buy this at full price? I might just 
say no. So let's let's tackle this. The closet. Love this stuff. I don't know why this puts me in the best mood. guys we are making progress but <laughs> this looks so scary behind me i threw all my clothes like here because i really just need to get rid of a ton of stuff for example like i have two teddy coats here that take up quite a bit of space i don't need two teddy coats yes they're two different colors they're two different brands but do i really need two teddy coats it's taking up a lot of space i ended up putting um all of noah's stuff over here so this is going to be noah's section we have this fully open so i might actually use a little bit of that this is going to end up being my side and i took everything down too so that's going to be the next task is to go through all these clothes here and see what I really want to keep and what I just need to throw away or donate and then I have like all <laughs> the stuff over here that I'm actually going to be putting in the buffet at the front but I should be getting groceries here in a little bit so I'm going to take a little break and just eat some lunch and take a breath take a breather <laughs> I burned out like a wandering ember I shone bright then my journey was over What I sought when I ran was back where I began I have slowly ventured over into this territory of my apartment cleaning all of this stuff up too I have so much skincare I don't even know what to do with I'm actually putting a pile for my mom because I'm actually going home and now that I think about it I was like how am I gonna put all this stuff in my suitcase but I'm driving home so I'll be able to take that with me I don't know if this is like the best idea but we ended up putting our shoes over here so this little section of the buffet is just like stuff that is like grab and go like gum hand sanitizer masks sunglasses hats like, gloves and I put his shoes down here and then I put my shoes, I have way more than him, so I put them right here. And I feel like this is better because the shoes looked so ugly in the closet. And I got rid of some uh, shoes, which are over here. And now I'm just going to go through all of this and figure it out. I have some stuff that was in the closet up on the top shelves that I'm actually going to go ahead and transfer over to the front because I just want my closet to be purely clothes. And I have so many clothes that I don't want hanging and actually I don't have enough room for them to hang. I ended up purchasing another one of these things that was over here. You guys let me show you. I got this on Amazon. I'll pop it down below if you guys are interested. I think it's like 50 bucks or 60 bucks or something like that. I bought another one for over here. So I'm going to put all of the rest of the clothes that are folded and stuff like that. Like my workout stuff in that um, organizer. So that's not coming until Friday. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And then anything that's like summer, spring, I'm just going to pop up there. I'm just going to work on it a little bit more and hopefully get all the clutter out of the way for right now. I just recently got Disney Plus again just for the holidays. They have the best holiday movies. I'm going to watch holes which is on disney plus in the background you guys know this movie probably if you grew up in the 90s it's actually a book i didn't read it but all the kids in my school did it just finished raining it was so cozy i love when it rains and we're inside it's just so nice um but it just stopped and i'm slowly but surely getting everything figured out so like i said i just ordered a organizer for my closet i am going to be putting my socks on top of this and then i filled all these drawers up with stuff i'm not going to go through it maybe i'll do it in another video there's like a couple piles up there i put my spring slash summer clothes up there and then the organizer has four drawers so this is going to be one these are all like pjs so these are like pj sets and then these are my t-shirts i have bottom sweats like short sweats and just leggings and stuff and then the next one is going to be denim so like all my jeans and then the next one's going to be sweat shirts so that's all covered but for now i'm just going to put these four piles in here 
Here's like the giant pile of stuff I'm getting rid of. I'm actually gonna bring it to my mom's because I feel like she would take a lot of this stuff. If not, there's a Goodwill right next door to her, so we'll just donate it. I went ahead and cleaned up all of this area here. So this is basically just storage now. Nothing too fancy. I feel like the shoes were just so inconveniently thrown in here and they were just so ugly. So yeah, everything's all set as good as it's gonna get. To make space in my closet, I ended up throwing my hamper in here. Unfortunately, the door is not able to open all the way, but honestly, I don't like this open all the way because if you open it when you sit on the couch you can like literally see the toilet and I just don't like that so when you close it you can throw in your dirty laundry right before you hop in the shower let's close that I also cleared up some bathroom stuff so this is just face masks in here this is all my skincare that I will be using um <laughs> I know it looks like a lot, but I promise you I condensed it so much. Like, I've done this probably three or four times now, and I still have this much stuff. But all this stuff will be used. All the rest I'm going to give to my mom or donate. So, oof. And then this drawer here I organized as well. I condensed all my makeup. If you guys remember, I had that giant makeup organizer. And I condensed it to, like, one foundation, one powder, one concealer, one primer. I have a few eyeshadow palettes, but literally just one of everything. I don't need all the rest and then this is the one thing that I'm okay with having a lot of but I have so many lip products that's like the one thing that I will change up um, in my makeup routine all of this down here is tanning stuff I feel so much lighter I feel like I have to do this at least once or twice a year to like feel better I feel like I can breathe again I'm not like weighed down by things that I don't need we're gonna make hamburgers because why not delicious so good now I'm gonna do a little project that I have for myself so um, I went through a whole bunch of my dad's pictures and I found literally so many but I picked out my favorites that I'm going to be framing I've never been one to have family pictures out but I feel like they just bring me so much peace and joy when I see them found four like super different sized frames on Amazon This is me and my brother. This is like my favorite picture of us ever. And then this is my dad and his sister, my Aunt Steffi. We're both three years apart and we have like the same bond. I'm the older sister, my Aunt Steffi's the older sister. And I just thought like putting this together would be so cute. And it turned out great, I love it. I am a mama's girl. I'm like so close to my mom. She's literally my favorite human being, like human being on this earth. Um, and so this is a picture of me and her. I feel like I'm attached to her like the way I was when I was a kid still. And she's just my everything. I love her so much. Speaking of my mama, this is like my favorite picture of her ever. It's so like vintage and retro and she's so freaking beautiful. This is my favorite. So this is my mom and my dad. How beautiful is that frame though? I got this on Amazon. Oh, I love that so much. That's my favorite. I'm gonna take some of this CBD. This one I picked up is the unflavored one and this one's the extra strength so this is 1500 milligrams which we love this will give me the best sleep ever so i got this on amazon too i look like a f whoa this is so cool it makes my room look like it's in a freaking universe look at this so freaking cozy and then you go up and it's like a whole world and it like spins i don't know if you guys can tell but it's like moving it's just freaking cool i feel like i'm underwater oh, that's such a cool backdrop i should do this like film at night 
that'd be kind of fun i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i've been really in my feels lately what's freaking new um but like i said i've been really trying to focus on my mental health and i feel like this is like phase one get rid of all the physical clutter in my life to kind of clear and pave way for feeling motivated and inspired again so i'm gonna be doing probably more like diet fitness stuff um in an, in an upcoming vlog so i guess it could be like part two or something like getting back on track kind of thing because i've also been slacking there and i know that the food that you put in your body like is directly correlated to the way you feel about yourself and it also releases certain chemicals in your brain so like i know if i eat like shitty food i'm not getting enough serotonin and like there's certain foods that literally make you a happier person like there's science backed behind it so i'm going to log off now i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel um and then i'll see you guys all in a future video i love you guys so much good night